Okay, another week, another dollar. I right, uh, this is V Blog, I guess. First weekend or second weekend? Last weekend went by quick, but it was productive. Second weekend of July. Woohoo, we're in July. Uh, yes, I love wearing this now. I think, I would, I think my, uh, my demon self is kind of my thing. The old shirt, it's actually a Chinese clone. Surprisingly, the Chinese clone actually holds up better than the real one. It's just the original art is actually Ann Stokes. So it's good. that's been modified for the Chinese factories. The Chinese aftermarket stuff, as bad as they are, sometimes imitation is the best form of flattery. Guys could always uh, be louder every night. They just have to be super loud. Go up and down, up and down. There's like no one doing that. It's so freaking annoying. I lose concentration every five seconds when I'm trying to do something. I read a manual. So anyhow, um, yes, my voice is a little off. Because you didn't notice, there's no glasses. I did LASIK last week. Last Thursday, so hopefully this week I'll take it easy. By Thursday, supposedly the other side effects are going to wear off. So hopefully by next weekend I'm up and about. Um, I have less headaches staring across the room. You got about 20/20 vision. I had about 15/20 with the uh, glasses, and I know LASIK is working because the glasses you put them on, it's completely out of phase of each other because it's overcorrecting. I should have had them overcorrected. I don't know. I'm like, eh, whatever. They do an adjustment later, a few years from now, or whatever. Um, the treatment for that could be ask them to do a slight overcorrection, but I don't even know if they could do that. I think most of my best bet is to wait at least a month to see how my uh, my flap is healing. That's one thing I didn't quite understand, but now I kind of have an idea because I remember distinctly seeing some of their eyes that flapped out. And that doesn't sound good, so I got to be careful because they said the flap heals, but I don't know if it heals permanently or because I've heard people had to have any stitches for that. That little flap is a coating like a skin over your eye. So they cut around the outside of it, so you can't barely see it. But I look in a mirror. They did a good job on this eye, but on this eye, I don't know if it was wobbling or what. He was doing it real fast, so it's possible. Because the um, the amount of correction is greater on one eye, but I think because the fact that they're the way they can correct it is they can't correct too much, so they'll find the best solution. So they correct it one way and make the other one the same. So there is maybe a small amount of stigmatism, but very little now. So I can actually do no glasses. Woohoo! Um, things are still better with sunglasses on, but. And that's something I haven't yet figured out because the sunglasses are polarized light. And polarized light just simply means you lose the glare because they're vertically polarized. So reflected light doesn't get through as much. Which also means most of the illumination in the room looks a little dimmer, but everything looks way sharper. Which is an indication that it is 2020. It's just that I got to wait till that flat peels up. For about a month and hopefully everything will be crystal clear and i won't even notice this anymore another news i didn't go to the ps which is another furry meat like i said it's not turned on got some toys i'm going to sell i really don't want to sell them they're my dragon toys but eh, maybe it's time to let some of them go for cash value and move forward i fear that the stock's going to crash and it's going to be a lot worse than expect it coming up in the next month so even selling my stuff is not a good thing because if I sell it that that item will probably be worth more in the other person's hands like I said I'm a collector so being a collector I know that feeling so anyhow I just got finished on the server room putting in new NIC cards on all the servers so they're all created a 10G I bought a 10G switch says hot on the back so I'm gonna assume this thing does get up to speed it has eight SFP plus ports so that'll do 10g 
normally it'll do something like 82 gigs, whatever, switching performance. I don't know. Um, I got another switch on the table that will talk to it, but I don't have the right cable, so hopefully the active SFP Plus cable will fix that problem. Or I'll be returning that next week getting a fiber um, a fiber DAC cable, directly attached cable, so there's no connector or whatever for the uh, LC connectors. This way, it's all one piece. Although I do love the LC connectors, by the way. They're great connectors. You can flip them around, but you still got to get the TX laser and the RX, whatever, just like you did, but it's only two wires as opposed to um, Ethernet. One gig is four pairs, but the termination is easy, so it doesn't matter either way. It's just when you get the SFP connectors, termination is a little different, so I usually get the direct path or I prefer the passive cables because there's less components to fail. Some way you can have an EEPROM on them. They don't have to. They just have to have the uh, traffic, uh, the carrier sense. But uh, I do see the higher quality ones do have the active, so there may be a benefit. I'm assuming they flip it the same way. As I saw it on the wiring diagram, SMP Plus connectors have differential pairs for transmit, differential for receive, so my theory is, is when you buy a NIC card, it's flipped at the NIC card like it is on every computer. So that's why I'm thinking the directly attached cables I have don't work for that reason. So I'm kind of confused on that possibility thing. But I didn't have that problem with the cables I used for... Yeah, I didn't have that problem with the cable I used with um, on our NIC here, so whatever more ramble so network rambling hopefully i do like the fact that you can turn that thing 90 i love the square i, I think all manufacturers should stick to the four screws that way if you want to mount it against the wall you just turn it 90 degrees and just bolt it to the wall gotta love sim simplicity when you can do things like that so that's next and i got i think one more thing i'm going to try to ship out today if not it's not a big deal i'll do it tonight i've got a couple of support things to do that's weird oh that's weird okay so maybe i've just seen something that's the thing I noticed. My eyes are getting a lot more tired than before with the glasses, but it may just be dry eyes. So that's another th new side effect. Maybe, I don't know. My eyelashes are annoying as heck, though. Anyhow, there you go. Mid-July rent.